First station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, how many mothers today share the experience of your mother as they weep for the fate of their daughters and sons? How many give birth to their children only to see them suffer and die from disease, malnutrition, and lack of water, medical care, and hope for the future? We pray for those who hold positions of responsibility, that they may heed the cry of the poor rising up to you from every part of our world. Grant that none of your children may lack employment and all that is needed for an honest and dignified life. Second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We thank you, Lord, because by your own life you have taught us how to show genuine and selfless love for others, especially for our enemies or simply those who are different from ourselves. Lord Jesus, how many times have we, your disciples, been ready to be identified as your followers when you performed healings and wonders, when you fed the crowd and forgave sins? Yet we have not found it so easy when you spoke about serving and forgiving others, about self-sacrifice and suffering. Grant that we may put our lives always at the service of others. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, we thank you for all those new Samaritans of the third millennium who today, too, can be found on our streets, stooping with love and compassion over the many physical and spiritual wounds of those who live every night in fear and the terror of darkness, loneliness, and indifference. Sadly, Lord, often today we are no longer able to see those in need, those hurt and humiliated. We are quick to demand respect for our rights and interests. Get those of the poor and the last in line. Lord, grant us the grace to overcome our blindness to their tears, their sufferings, and their cry of pain, so that through them we can encounter you. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Mary, at this very moment, you experience the same tragedy as all those mothers who suffer for their children, who set out for other countries with the hopes of a better future for themselves and their families but sadly find humiliation, contempt, 
violence, indifference, loneliness, and even death. Give them strength and courage. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord Jesus, on the way to Calvary, you were crushed by the weight of that cross. In vain, you hoped for help from a friend, from one of your disciples, from one of the many persons whose sufferings you relieved. Sadly, only a stranger, Simon of Cyrene, out of obligation, came to your aid. Where are the new Cyrenians of the third millennium? Where do we find them today? We pray for all the Cyrenians of our history that they may never falter in their desire to welcome you in the least of our brothers and sisters in the knowledge that in welcoming the poorest members of our society, we welcome you. The Sixth Station, Veronica Wipes the Face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord Jesus, cleanse our eyes so that we can see your face in our brothers and sisters, especially in all those children who, in many parts of the world, are living in poverty and squalor, children deprived of their right to a happy childhood, education and innocence, little ones used as cheap goods, bought and sold at will. Lord, we ask you to have mercy and compassion on this sick world. Help us rediscover the beauty of our dignity and that of others as human beings created in your image and likeness. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Lord, you too bore the burden of condemnation, rejection, abandonment, and suffering inflicted by persons who had met you, listened to you, and followed you. In the certainty that the Father had not abandoned you, you found the strength to accept his will by offering forgiveness love, and hope to those who today, like you, walk the same path of ridicule, contempt, mockery, abandonment, betrayal, and loneliness. The eighth station, Jesus meets the woman of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, teach us to see with your eyes, with their welcoming and merciful gaze, with which you see our limitations and our fears. 
Help us to imitate you in how we regard different ideas, behaviors, and points of view. Help us to realize that we are part of the same human family and to find bold new ways of accepting diversity and working together to build communities, families, parishes, and civil society. The Ninth Station, Jesus Falls for the Third Time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, you fell a third time, exhausted and humiliated, beneath the weight of your cross. Lord, how many times have you asked us this disturbing question? Where is your brother? Where is your sister? How many times have you reminded us that there heartbreaking cry rises up to you. Help us to share the sufferings of all those treated as refuse. It is all too easy con to condemn people and difficult situations that offend our false sense of decency. It is less easy to accept our responsibilities as individuals, as governments, and as Christian communities. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We have forgotten the centrality of the human being, the dignity, beauty, and strength of each man and woman. Lord, help us to rediscover the beauty and richness present in every person, and to see people as your unique gift to be placed as the service of society as a whole and not used for our personal profit or gain. Grant, Jesus, that your example and your teaching on mercy and forgiveness, on humility and patience, make us a little more human and thus more Christian. The Eleventh Station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Lord, how many men and women today are nailed to a cross, victims of brutal exploitation, stripped of dignity, freedom, and hope for the future? Their cry for help challenges us as individuals, as governments, as society, and as church. How is it possible that we continue to crucify you by your complicity in the trafficking of human beings. Give us eyes to see and a heart to feel the suffering of all those who today, too, are nailed to a cross by our systems of life and consumption. Twelfth Station, Jesus Dies on the Cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. On the cross, Lord, you too bore the weight of scorn, mockery, insults, violence, 
abandonment, and indifference. Only Mary, your mother, and a few other women stayed with you as witnesses to your suffering and death. May their example inspire us in a commitment to stand by all those dying today on Calvaries throughout the world. Lord, we implore you, help us to be true neighbors to those newly crucified and despairing in today's world. Teach us to wipe away their tears, to comfort them, even as you were consoled by the presence of Mary and the other women beneath your cross. Thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, at this hour, we hear once more the cry of Pope Francis at Lampedusa, the site of his first apostolic journey. Has anyone wept? And now after countless shipwrecks, we continue to cry out. Has anyone wept? Has anyone wept for those whose lives were lost embarking on a dangerous journey? All deserve respect and remembrance. Their deaths, like that of Jesus taken down from the cross, were not in vain. We entrust all these lives to the mercy of God, our Father, and the Father of all, especially the poor, the desperate, and the abate. Fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, Make us realize that we are all children of one Father. May the death of your son Jesus grant to the leaders of nations and lawmakers consciousness of the role they must play in the defense of every person created in your image and life. 